Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a caselet uh, which says that there are seven coaches in a good strain C1, C2, C3, and so on up to C7. And each coach had different weight of goods in them. Okay, so they were carrying uh, goods. And these are the weights given in tons 33, 37, 42, 48, 53, 56, and 59. Before departure, what happened? Some goods from coaches C3, C4, and C7 was shifted to the remaining four coaches such that total weight of the goods before and after shifting was equal. So, no good was removed basically, right? So, it was only the shifting of items so that the total weight was the same, okay? So, from C3, C4, and C7, the shifting took place to C1, C2, C5 and c6 so these are the coaches that send the goods and they receive the goods okay now uh, we are given that weight of goods c in c6 was more than c2 before shifting c4 contained 11 tons more goods than c3 before shifting okay so they have given something before shifting which contained more and how much 15 tons of goods were shifted from c3 to c2 and no other shifting was done from uh, or to these two coaches so C3 to C2, there was a shifting of 15 tons. Okay, and there was no other shifting apart from that. <clears throat> 20 tons of goods were added to C1. Okay, so C1 received 20 tons from which not given. After shifting, the maximum weight was 57. C5 contained more goods than C6 but less than C7 before shifting. 18 and 14 tons of goods were shifted from C7 and C4 respectively. So C7 and C4 shifted 18 and 14 tons, right? And C1 received 20 that is given to us, right? Now there is an equilibrium, right? Whatever is shifted from these have gone to these things. Now we know that 15 C3 to C2, we directly know that this is 15 tons. We do not know about the remaining. What we know is 32, 14 plus 18, 32 is sent this side and 20 is received by these two. So C5 plus C6, they received a total of 12. Okay, so whatever they receive, let us say X and Y, X plus Y will be equal to. Okay, that is the thing that is known to us. That is the only information about shifting thing. Now we will have to find out how much they had initially that is given to us, right? These are the weights that they had initially. So let us make a table like this. C1, C2, C3 before and after. The interesting part is we are not given any of the weights, right? What are the constraints given to us? So we have used uh, this 15, 20, 18. These are the transfers that they, we have given. It is given that weight of goods in C6 was more than C2 before shifting. So before shifting, uh, C6 is greater than C2. Okay. And then we have uh, uh, C5 contained more goods than C6, but less than C7. So C5 is greater than C6 and C7 is greater than C5. So this is the sequence of four uh, of these we are also given in the statements initially. Okay, then uh, two things are given that after shifting maximum was 57 ton. So this is before okay, and after the maximum is 57. And C6 after shifting was at least 53 ton. So C3 will be greater than equal to 53, right? At least 53. So it cannot be less than 53. It has to be. So these are the constants. So this is before. This is after and another thing that we are given before is so we shall use that also uh, that will help us that C4 contained 11 tons more goods than C3 before shifting. Okay, so C3 and C4 would have been C4 contained 11 tons more. Now 33 is not pairing with any number 37, 48 to so C3, 37, C4, 48, one possibility. Another possibility is 42 and 53. And the next possibility that we see is 48 and 59. So these are another constraint that we have. Okay, 48 and 59. So these are the three possibilities 
now we will have multiple cases we will have to combine all these things okay that is given to us now maximum is 57 we know that c3 c2 is receiving 15 and c1 is receiving 20 so c1 if it goes to maximum so c1 cannot be more than 37 in the beginning because if it receives 20 of 42 it will become 62 so c1 was either 33 or 37 okay then if we talk about uh, c2 c2 receives 15 turns so c2 must have been uh, 33 it could be 37 it could be 42 not more than 42 so 33 37 or 42 so we will have to make combinations using these c1 c2 c3 c4 we have the possible combinations okay then from that we will have the other four and then try these transactions okay so that is how the puzzle is right uh, a good challenging one so now let's start with c1 let us take c133 okay now if you take c133 then it's obvious that uh, it cannot be uh, 33 it has to be 37 so let us take one possibility so basically we will get at max six cases right c1 is 33 uh, c2 is 37 so if c2 is 37 then this pair is not possible right either 42 53 or 48 59 okay so uh, again 42 53 if we take right then we are left with three values that c7 is greater than c5 is greater than c6 okay so we are left with 59 56 and 48 59 56 and 48 okay now we know that c5 and c6 the total will increase by 12 kgs right so if we increase so this total is 104 right if we increase 12 to it we will get 116 right we will get 116 now maximum 57 is not possible in 116 because even if there are two with minimum right so you will get minimum of 58 okay we cannot get maximum 57 when we add two numbers and they are uh, they add to 116 so this case is not possible so it means we cannot assign very high values to c5 and c6 okay so this is not possible so let us again go with 33 37 and uh, 48 59 if we take what happens let's see then 33 37 48 59 so we are left with 42 53 and 56 56 53 42 okay now we have to satisfy two conditions right one is that uh, maximum should be 57 another is that maximum should be uh, so if we let us say if if we we have to increase 12 right x plus y is 12 so we have to find maximum 57 and c4 obviously will reduce okay c4 is reducing so don't worry about c4 c5 and c6 are increasing so if we increase uh, this to 57 let us say if we increase to 57 because see this will increase but it will not become 57 it is increasing by 20 it is increasing by 15 this is decreasing this is decreasing this is decreasing so these two will increase if we increase this by 4 and increase this by 8 okay 50 if you make it 57 if you make it 50 because total we have to increase 12 then this will remain 50 the condition is c3 should be greater than or equal to 53 so that means this condition is also not possible right so this 33 is not possible because we took 33 and uh, we took 37 okay there is one more possibility let us take that that 33 and 42 what if it is 33 and 42 does it uh, fit into the picture so if we take 33 and 42 we took c1 33 we took c2 33 uh, 37 with both possibilities of these cases we were not able to get it now if we take 42 33 and 42 now this scenario is not possible so either it is 37 48 or 48 59 
okay now if we take 48 and 59 like like this one 48 59 we will be left with uh, 56 53 and 37 right but c2 is less than c6 so if we take 48 and 59 we'll be left with 56 53 37 but 37 is smaller than 42 okay so that is not possible if we take the other case if we take 48 and 15 uh, we, we took 48 and 59 if we take 37 and 48 37 and 48 then we are left with uh, one is 59 56 56 and the uh, the other number that we are left with is 53 okay now again if you see this as i said that these values cannot be very high these are already 109 kgs okay if we add them 109 we have to transfer 12 kg 12 tons so it will become these are 109 if we increase 12 they will become more than uh, 114 right so maximum if even if they achieve 57 57 each so that is not possible so this case is also not possible so c1 is not possible as 33 okay so c1 will be 37 now if c1 is getting uh, 20 tons so c1 after will be 57 so this should be the maximum right we were talking that the maximum is 57 i think this will be the maximum now if you take this 37 okay now this 37 is not possible either it will be 33 or 42 okay so let us try uh, let us try this combinations here that uh, now this combination is also not possible if we take 37 okay so this will remove cases from here as well now if we take uh, this as 33 let us let us try with both the possibilities let us say 42 right let's say see we know that higher value of c2 is rejected what are the rejection cases here that c5 c6 should not be very high they should not be very high because the total will see instead of making all cases you must try to understand that why this case can be rejected if c5 c we saw in two examples if c5 and c6 become very high they cannot achieve this constraint because they will add 12 tons to them together okay so that is one constraint and another constraint is it should also not be very high because it is smaller than Three other values okay so if we take 42 let us just take an example see we saw here it got rejected because of 42 so let us try with 42 what happens if we take 42 okay now we have to assign uh, these things so 48 and 59 will go here if we take this 42 40 53 power combination is not possible 48 59 go here now these three values are higher than this 33 remains right who will get 33 in that case c7 c5 c6 it will get 33 because the numbers are 56 uh, 56 53 and 33 okay so it will be 56 53 and 33 that is not possible because c6 has to be greater than c2 okay so this is also not possible so the ideal case should be 33 let us try with 33 so we take 33 here this 33 after increase uh, we know that it increases by 15 so it will become 48 then 33 is gone so 37 48 is not possible we have 42 53 and one possibility is 48 59 now again we will have to try these two cases right if this is 42 53 what happens if this is 42 and 53 we will be left with uh, 48 56 and 59 so obviously this will get 59 okay and uh, 50 uh, 56 will go here and 48 will go here again the possibility this thing cannot happen 56 48 because they have to increase by 12 right so that is not possible you cannot increase by 12 these things by 12 okay so this is not scenario is not possible 42 53 combination So the possibility should be 48 and 59 if we consider 48 and 59 we are left with 56 
then we have 53 and then another number that we have is 42 okay so that is the possibility that should satisfy all the conditions now c3 is in decreasing by 15 so that will become 33 c7 is decreasing by 18 so that will become 38 c4 is decreasing by 14 that becomes 45 okay so that is the weights after now what we are given that these are increasing by 12 and c3 is becoming at least 53 so in order to make this 53 we need 11 okay so if we increase by 11 and 1 then we will get 54 and 53 that is the unique answer that we will get because the goods shifted were positive integral multiples of one ton so we cannot have 12 and 0 right 12 and 0 is not possible 11 and 1 is the only possible solution so this is finally the solution of this right so quite a challenging one right? too many constraints and uh, too many cases in solving this but at the end you get the answer like this okay so that is the solution to this so the first question is what was the weight of goods in coach c4 before the shifting so c4 had 59 tons of weight in the beginning which coach had the least weight after shifting so it was c3 that had the least weight by how many tons did the weight of c5 increase after shifting so c5 uh, the weight was 53 it became 54 so just by one ton how many coaches weighed between 40 and 50 tons after the transfer of goods so between 40 and 50 there is one and then there is second one as well so there are two such coaches right so it was a very good uh, number puzzle that involved a lot of conditions and uh, initially it might appear to be easy keep that all the values are given in the beginning but no value has been assigned then there were a lot of constraints okay possibilities multiple possibilities in difference of 11 and then uh, too many constraint right maximum uh, what is the minimum of c3 after this so that is the solution of this set and the answers to the questions.